how it goes. Yeah, dogs opting, autom uh, opting in for the Pika start. Very good in this matchup. He doesn't like Kirby Falcon. <laughs> Not a lot of people do. Uh, Falcon versus Kirby is kind of frustrating. You have to play a lot differently than you normally would. Um, way, way safer. Um, you can't just throw... I mean, normally you can't just throw things out anyway, but against Kirby, it's just... It's so much more destructive when you miss, miss an opportunity or mm -hmm. make a mistake. It's just, uh, you're done. But... First stock was easily taken by Dogs Johnson there. Preston reading the jump there, gets the lead back here. Unfortunately, doesn't really follow up with anything. And Kirby, in this matchup, you kind of have to rely a little bit on taps here and there. Mm -hmm. and Get and your then, chip damage. Yep, get your chip damage. And then uh, worry about getting that finisher right there. Right. Forward smash. Whether usually. it be an F smash, a back air edge guard, or like a forward throw off of a platform. Rarely you get a spike um, if yeah. you can read that they're going to ledge and you just cover ledge. Oh, shield break, not quite what's on the menu today. But got some good damage and got a good chase. Absolutely. In that situation as Pikachu, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're either getting your shield broken or you're getting forward smashed. Right. So you're getting F smash either way, kind of. Right, you are. But one leads to damage, the other one leads to a lot of damage. More damage. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's an up tilt and that's a down B. Yeah. When Kirby's forced to up B in this, in this matchup, it's just so sad. Because mm -hmm. when you pick it, it's just like. That's exactly what you want. Pick you a want move. them to up B. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, should I down tilt him there? Send him off stage? Right. Should I up tilt him and then. Should I kill him on the top? Who knows? I'll see what I'm feeling <laughs> at the time and just pick. Half the times you just pick a random button and it works out. <laughs> yeah. Because literally any tap sends Kirby away from the stage and he has no jumps after he uppies. All right. So Preston's still kind of holding on in this first game here. Yeah. He's I was going to say, fourth throw will kill anywhere on the stage now. Yeah. Definitely not. A he's not out of it. Any yeah, means. no, he's really solid. Doc's still looking a little confident, though. You can kind of see it on his face. He's a little, a little smug. Yeah, um, he kind of goes through waves. We saw it earlier. Him versus Mando. It's like sometimes he seems not as sure, and then he still holds it down and closes it out at the end of the day. Oh, and you see that patented up air to back air on the side plat from Pikachu. Pikachu's do that all the time. It's very, very good. Because you can just use that up air to space just slightly away from the Kirby so that they can't really punish you. So then when they drop to the platform, you just back air them. And it's it's like a bait, but it's also pressure at the same time. It's really good. I love seeing it. Right. And Pikachu gets pushed off. Yeah, it's good pressure by Preston, but he keeps pushing the dude the shield push off, and then Dogs punches him every time he turns it around. So Dogs up two socks to one. Again, you see Kirby forced to up B and then just pick a tilt. Okay, so Preston's smart enough to not DI and because he knew that the last hit of fair was not going to come out and push him away. So he just didn't DI because he wanted that little bit of height off the this ground so he could just Preston. press A. Hate but to cut you off, but no, Preston's good. ready to cut off this game. Oh man, that was super close. Oh, Dogs is a little bit shaking in his boots here. He's he's uh, he's cringing. But he's not at that low percent anymore. So Preston is not going to find those easy combos. He's going to have to chip him with back air until it's time to KO. Oh, is that going to kill? No, no, no. I don't know the percent. It's like 99 off the top pot, I think. Now according, it'll according kill to the spreadsheet, but it'll kill him now. I don't fully trust the spreadsheet. <laughs> and 119 is the ground. Can't forget the 119. Oh, we almost got the ground. So yeah, it'll kill. In a lot of places. Dogs is going to be super careful going forward here. Kirby's at a juicy percent, though. One big opening, or even a medium size opening. You don't even have to go for the large. Oh, nice catch by Preston for that back air, but just barely misses that edge guard. Dogs rolling out of trouble. This is uh, Tex, yeah. and then he up bees out. Edge cancel. Edge cancels. If he had not edge cancels, that would have been it. Could have been, yeah. Let's see. What can Preston do to close this out? There's a back air. Just oh, this is misses. a bad spot for oh, Preston. Oh, he misses the Z cancel. It's Pikachu wants all day. He wants to plaid drop, throw out that aerial. Oh, oh, trades. Can he get back, though? No. Oh. No. All right, all right, no. all right. It was so it was close. So I close. thought he might have had like one. If he had one jump left, he would have made it. I oh. thought he had one, but 
Dogs barely closing it out. What an insane trade. Oh <laughs> my God. Preston showing Dogs, who are you? Number one in Indiana? Yeah. Try number one, about to lose. Yeah, he was just so close. Ugh. All right, so going into game two here, Preston definitely want, has to feel good after that. I mean, even though he lost. He started off way weaker than he finished, so Absolutely. see if he, he's got to carry that momentum that he started building up into this game. Ooh. All right, so now we got big Kirby, big boy. Oh, yeah, he's a little bigger now. Unfortunately, that means that he's easier to hit as well. And it's because he landed like that with up B? Is that how it works? Yes. When you start an up B in the air, ooh, gets that first hit of the up B. I'm surprised. But when you start an up B in the air and you land with Kirby, he actually gets slightly bigger, which means his hit boxes get larger. And he stays that way for the rest of the game? No, until he loses his stock. OK, OK. Until he loses that stock. So, so now we'll see small Kirby come back. Hey. <laughs> hey, small boys. But that means he's also harder to hit. So. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Ooh, good down air to Plateau. Oh, oh but an overextension. Like we said last weekend, P Kirby's love when Pika overextends off stage and he can sneak that dare in. So, so satisfying for Kirby. Oh, he gets that first hit of bad trade. First hit of uh, a B, but he unfortunately trades. I wonder if he tried to jump. Because if you um, if you get hit out of the startup of Kirby's up B, you don't lose your jumps. Oh, interesting. Yeah. To say so, he could have at least tried to jump there, but it was it wasn't that early in it. Ooh, it's a bad spot there. for Not Preston. Quite gonna kill. Dog's looking sharp this game. He's playing a bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. He's taking that momentum from game one and rolling with it. I don't know. I feel like Preston definitely had the momentum from last or from game one. I just feel like he definitely played way better toward the end. But Dog is definitely showing that momentum doesn't mean everything. Okay, and Planks with the. Get up attack. Okay. Still in a horrible spot. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, it's over. Pick a tilt. <laughs> 2 0 for Dogs Johnson. He's looking good in this pool, man. He's just taking out two of the biggest threats there are here.